thought it was over, they thought I was finished, dawg Whole city jump behind me, now I get more racks than a tennis ball And you know ain't no looking back, the streets brought the hustle out of me I was sick of eating pot of me, ramen noodles all through the week The struggle was ugly, made something out of nothing 787, boy Me and Gizmo out here, man, we finna watch the Tahoe Y'all see how dirty she is, man? She dirty. I know I ain't watched this truck in about four, five, six months, man. For real, she dirty, dirty. But we finna change that. She's an old two, but I keep her clean though. Keep the oil change. And I treat her right. I'm finna give me some new lenses too. See how my lenses? They all destroy these. These are the plastic joints, man. They only last about a good man year, two years. See how? Condensation in there. I'm gonna go ahead and give me some new ones, man. Same way on this side with the condensation. We're finna get some new ones, baby. It's a nice Chevy boy, Old Faithful. And we gotta find out where that leak coming from, man. When I got my windshield put in, I didn't have no problem for about a week, about two, three weeks. But now, man, it's back. <clears throat> my floor is back getting down, man. I don't know. I gotta find out what it is, man. We'll find out though. We'll find out. She O2, man, but I keep it clean though. What you hear something? <laughs> Seven eight, man. We'll be right back. I thought I grabbed my keys. Yeah, man. I already got my degrees uh mixed up. This is gonna be my spread for the degrees. I already wrote it on there and everything. So Scooter will know, everybody will know, this is D-Greaser. You know, Scooter will be watching his car too. So, hit all the tough spots with this. Hit all the tough spots with this. They're gonna eat it all, boy. Y'all see how she look? She finna look like a brand new truck, boy. Give me a second. In one second. Yes, sir. This is panel clean from a local place. So I don't know where y'all can get it from in y'all city, but here in Memphis, you can go on Lamar Avenue and get it from a uh, Power equipment. I think it's called power equipment supply, something like that. Yep, you gotta dilute it though. They said this stuff is eat, eat the copper off of penny wheels. You hear me? So yeah, this this is good though. I diluted it like one third. One third of uh, the panel clean and two thirds water. That's how I do mine. Yep. Everybody might do theirs different, but that's how I do mine, man. We'll be right back. This my, this my little bro Jonas calling, man. We'll be back. She looking good already, boy. Looking good already. I just thought about it, man. I've been neglecting my my engine bay so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and clean this engine bay up too man yep just spray it down good with the degreaser and come back behind it with the pressure washer man that's all i do then i usually keep some of that uh oh uh, i think it's made by gunk the engine engine detail That's what I usually spray on here. After it dries, after I spray it down and it dries, we put that engine gunk on there. Detailer. It's about that time anyway. I'ma clean it up for my boy OKT. He going he said he gonna uh, put them valve cover gaskets on for me. My little bro KT. I need to call him, man. See what he got going on. I probably pull up on him today. He might do it today if he ain't going to the racetrack. 
That's what I'm about to do, man. I'm gonna let this sit for a minute, y'all. And we're gonna come back with the pressure washer and get to it. Yep. So make sure it boy. And y'all keep it locked. Alright. Engine sprayed off good now, boy. I gotta go buy some of the uh, engine detail because I don't have any on deck. Got it all sprayed up. Running like a champ. Yes, sir. Like I was saying, man, my my uh, my flow still be getting wet, man. Like now it ain't wet now because it ain't been doing a whole lot of raining. I don't know what it is though. I know some people said it could have been the windshield. I think the windshield helped. And some people said it's some kind of drain that's in up up under them uh that leaf, that leaf shield right there. They said it's like a drain right there. And I also I was looking on YouTube, I put silicone on here. Some people said to get in through that rubber. I also took down this plastic and uh Cause it feel like it's may could be coming in like right up in here somewhere. Cause it doesn't go all the way over. It don't get wet all over here. It's mostly like in this area here, and it's not wet at the top. So I think it's coming in right over here somewhere. Got to figure it out, man. But other than that, man, this is a perfectly good O2, man. To be an O2, perfectly good O2. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna uh, hit it with the water one more time. Hit it with the water so I can dry it out properly. See, I got them water spots on my windows and stuff. Yeah. So I'm gonna hit it one more time with the water. Now I just just noticed I was looking on YouTube too. I guess cause it been sitting up, man. My uh my pressure washer is pulsating. When I say that, the engine running fine. But when I when I hit the gun, the gun like it'll it'll spray hard, lose pressure. Spray hard, lose pressure. It's going like it's going in and out, and I don't know what that could be. Uh, I'm about to call my uh, small engine guy and see what he be able to get to me and check it out. If he be able to get to me, man, I'm gonna run that joint over there today. I ain't doing nothing else. Seven eight seven boy, keep it locked, man. All right. Yeah, man, I was about to do this without even showing y'all, man. Uh, I got, I got, I got old, uh, old face to clean up there. I'm gonna show y'all her. We clean the inside out and everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and start on this driveway from when I put all that mud up up here, man. From the from the uh, from the side by side, and you see, I started already. It, it was all the way up to about right here, so I'm finna start pushing that on back. Good old pressure washer, man. This thing come in handy. I done had it about, uh, maybe about two years now. Yeah, about two years. This thing come in handy, man. So I ain't putting that down on here because this mud kind of thick. I ain't putting no kind of degrees or nothing down. But, uh, let me show y'all this right here, too. I also got to move my See, I got my side-by-side -side sitting up on some bricks. I went and bought two more. The ones you see in the front of the tires, them the ones I went and added. So I'm actually gonna have the side-by-side -side up a little bit, pull it up a little bit more, but that's why I want the bricks set. See where this first one at? I'm gonna move the side-by-side -side and I'm gonna line the back one up with it. Cause that's where I want it to be. Same for right here. See, it's sitting on one, but I'm gonna, when I move it, I'm gonna slide it over with that one. Yep, same way I got my got my trailer sitting on bricks on both sides. I try to preserve them tires, man. Even my little trailer. I got it sitting on bricks. And I painted this thing yesterday too. I gotta go back with a second coat. Painted it, just spray, spray paint. Gotta have my stuff looking nice, man. You know, presentable. Yes, sir. 7874. Y'all keep it locked, man. The day ain't over with. 
I might go down to the racetrack, man. Might even go to the racetrack today, man. We'll see. Uh, CEO Larry got an event down there. Boost Doctor supposed to be here, but uh, Boost Doctor, they say he got COVID. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish this up, man. I might even go to the track. The truck already clean from last week. I might just wipe it down. And we gonna get in the wind, baby. We'll see though. Seven eight Chevy boy, keep it locked, man. All right. All right, y'all. Here we go. I got the uh, got all the mud up. All the mud is gone. You see a little mud and sand over there in the, to the side. As long as I got the driveway straight, I'm good. Got all of it off. That didn't take long. About a good 10 minutes. 10 minutes straight. All right. Now, this is what we got going on. Like I said, I'm going to move my side by side over. But one thing I'm going to go ahead and do while I'm out here, you see this branch? Hold on. Hold on one second. You see this branch? This big branch right here. I'm gonna cut this one down because when I bag my side by side back, it grabs, my hood grabs this every time. So I'm gonna cut it down. I'm gonna go and get my uh my step stool and I'm gonna start high. I'm gonna probably cut it right there first. So it'll just drop down, put my safety glasses on. So once it drops down, I'ma uh then I'll cut it, cut it down here at the bottom. Therefore, I can just bag it back. But I'm going to go ahead and move my side-by-side -side first. So when that falls, it doesn't fall on my side-by-side. -side. Don't fall on old Meg. So we're about to crank her up and uh and get her going, man. All right. Be right back. All right, y'all. I'm probably going to just do a time lapse because I got to uh, gotta unhook the battery. Got to take the cover off, unhook the battery, the uh, battery tender from the battery, and then move it up. So... I'm gonna do a little quick uh, time lapse right quick, all right? Y'all see it, man, we got it all uncovered now. About to move her up. Man, them lights look good in there. Yes, sir, they do. Let me show y'all. Took them old brown ones out, boy, them just look good in there. Seven, eight. About to move that thing. Yeah, man. Y'all already know. I got my boots on. Man, you gotta keep them boots, man. If y'all watch my channel, man, if you a, if you a man of any kind of like like substance where you go and do things in the yard, you on the run, like you know, just just everyday manly things. I ain't talking about you lazy guys. You lazy guys don't need no boots, man. But to all my guys that are active in the yard and just like on your cars or in the woods, fishing, whatever, man. You gotta have your some type of boot, man. This is just my all rubber boots right here. These ain't the brown junks. But I got my boots on. Yes, sir. Man, big Meg clean, bro. Come on now. Get to big, man. So I'm finna line these bricks up. About to line these bricks up. I'm gonna try to get it right. And then I'm gonna uh and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut that tree down. I think I'm finna paint my <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. I think I'm finna paint my bed, man. 
Yep. I'm gonna paint my bed all black. That's what I'm gonna do, because I bought some extra uh, cans of spray paint last night. I'm just finna spray this junk. Why not? I ain't doing nothing else. Send me shit with boy. Keep it locked, man. All right. Let this junk up. So that water can drain out of there. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, sir. We got the utility joint, baby. We got the utility joint, baby. Yeah, we got the bed on the bike. And that's how I'm going to paint it, too. Why is it in the air like that? It's easier access. Easier access. Yep. Of course, I'm going to take the cooler off. You know, wish I had. I might do that self rhino line in one day for this joint. Instead of taking it, I, I definitely wouldn't take this nowhere. I did the truck because I wanted it pretty and professionally done. But on here, I can stand a few flaws. I can stand for there to be a few, few uh, flaws in it. So uh, let me get the cutting, man. And I think I'm gonna spray this down right quick, get that dirt out before I, uh, before I paint it. Cause it got a little dirt build up. That's what I'm finna do. Send that shit, boy. Keep it locked, man. All right, we knocked that little water off of that joint. And my um, my nozzle isn't. I mean, my gun isn't isn't doing the uh, pulsating like I was saying with the uh, with the other one. You see on this one, this is my long one, right? This is my long one. You see, it got a green attachment on the end too. I think it's like a forty degree. It got a green attachment on it, but that's not the same green attachment that I got on the that I had on the on the short one. On the short one, you see what I'm saying? So I looked it up on YouTube. One guy said it could just be that nozzle. So I was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna change the gun and the nozzle. So I changed the gun with that green nozzle on. I ain't had no problem. So one thing he did was he sat back and uh he soaked his in a uh, WD-40. So that's what I've been doing, and I'm gonna see if it was the nozzle. See what I'm saying? So I'm letting it soak. Letting both of them soak, because it was doing it with both of these nozzles. Yep, man, it could be something that simple, man. But I'm letting it soak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to let it soak. He said he let his soak by 15, 20 minutes. But uh, we're gonna let that soak and see, man. That might be the solution. It, it, it. It almost has to be either in that gun, it's either in that gun or it's uh in those nozzles. So let me get the cutting, man. I'll be back and straighten my bricks up. Might as well do that now. Hey, man, don't y'all laugh at me, man. But uh, you never can be too careful, man. I'm, I'm finna fool with these big trees, these big branches. Man, I don't want them one of them things come off and stab me in the head, bro. You got to be playing with me. This helmet is too little. I bought it when I first got my four wheel and we went up by Gatlinburg, man, to uh, this place called Ride Royal Blue. And they said we had to have a helmet. We had to get this thing, this fishing license thing and all that. But we got up there, we didn't even need a helmet though. But I kept it. Just in case, man, I said, I may need this helmet one day for something. And look at here, I need it. I'm finna work on this stuff, man. You know, one of them things come down, it ain't gonna stab me in the head. It might stab me in the shoulder or somewhere. I can deal with that, but I don't want no gas in my head, man. 787 boy, man, safety first. You feel me? Safety first, dog. Let's get it, man. Let's knock this tree out, man, before the thing choke me, man. I'm gonna choke the mess out of me, all right? Man, look at here, man. That might seem like it was quick because of that time lapse. But boy, I'm tired as a fool. 
I ain't lying. I gotta get some of this weight up on me, dog. I got to, man. I'm getting tired too quick, man. Gotta get some of this weight up off me. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I'm tired in the mud. But I got that now. As y'all can see, I almost caught, caught here with that, that handsaw, man. What I'm finna do right now, between this video clip and the next one, man, I'm about to put a post out on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Anybody that got the plug on Milwaukee, on a Milwaukee uh, chainsaw, I need it, cash in hand, man. Like I said, when I always, when I do something and I ain't got the right tool for it, I make a note and I get the right tool. Cause man, this here for the birds, dog. This here for the birds. I remember I borrowed uh, Jonas chainsaw to do my front yard. Uh, trim some of that tree down. Man, it would've cut through there like butter. That would've took five seconds, bro, literally. It took me about five minutes. And I put that on God. I ain't going through that no more. So, uh, 7 8 Chevy Boy, man, I just had to stop and catch a breather. I had to stop and catch a breather, man. Did y'all see me with the safety shades on? We had those, uh, we had those shavings falling off of there, and we didn't want that to fall into my eyes, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I got a pretty clean cut on that thing. I might go ahead, no, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, it is what it is, right there where it's cut at. That's not gonna bother me. So, until I get my chainsaw, where I can trim the tree on up a little more. Other than that, boy, we finna, uh, I might pull the side by side on up a little bit. We finna drag this big branch to the, uh, to the ditch over there and pull the side by side back, man. See if everything line up. So, Nate Chevy, boy, keep it locked. I need me a cold one. When I say cold one, I'm talking about a cold water this time. I don't need nothing but some water. So, Nate Chevy, boy, keep it locked. All right, y'all. In order for me to get that branch through here without scraping all up against my side by side, I gotta get the side by side pulled up. And who's gonna do it? Lil P. Yeah. Let's do it. We're gonna crank it all the way up, but just turn the key for you let the fuel pump work. No, this way. All right. Uh -uh -uh -uh. So you let the fuel pump let it work. All right, now crank it. Okay, okay. And then once you put your foot on the brake. Now put it in, bring it down to high. No, no, not that one, that one right there. Look on the screen. Yeah, look at both of them. Put it in high. That's high, you got an H up there? Yes. Okay. Pull it on up, you gotta hit the gas. Uh-oh, whoa now. <laughs> don't, don't hit the gas there. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh Lord, she scared me then, y'all. Hold on now, girl. Let me. I'm in the front of you now. <laughs> Come on up. Come on up. Okay, 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 okay. A little more. A little more. Lord, yeah, that's a no. That's a no. <laughs> that's a no. Now push it all the way up to P. You got a P up there? Okay, turn it off. Thank you. It's beautiful. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, she's trying to make that junk get off the ground, y'all. <laughs> Man. I know it. <laughs> yeah, man, we got the uh, side-by-side -side sprayed up. We just did one coat. I used the whole can. So what you see, you see the wet spots. That's just is where it hadn't dried it. It ain't got to be perfect, like I said, because, of course, this I go mudding in this. I have my cool on the back waiters to be stuff on the back like a real truck you know what i'm saying so with that being said man i was just showing y'all and i ain't gonna lie man i done messed around and got tired i don't know if i'm going to the track or not i might but, but man i gotta put all this stuff up pressure washer all my little accessories all the helmet and stuff now i'm gonna see if everything lines up over here on the uh, bricks so give me a second we'll be back all right. All right, y'all. So, I took the nozzle off of here. This is the one that came off that I had no problems with. This is the one that will pulsate 
on the small gun. I had it soaking in uh, WD-40 for about an hour, hour and a half. So we're gonna see if it starts, if it loses pressure. Losing no pressure so far. Losing no pressure. So, I'm finna see. All right, I'm gonna change the other nozzle out too. This is my other adjustable nozzle. We go from zero to 25 to 40. losing pressure so what I'm about to do now I'm gonna change the guns out I'm gonna change the guns out put the smaller gun back on there and see if I got a problem if it's in the gun ah, it's gonna be hard to take off give me a second I'll be right back All right, y'all. We got the uh, small gun back on here. I keep forgetting to change the whole gun. Turn the pressure washer off because it's, still, it's shooting power up to here. It's shooting pressure up to the end of the hose. And once you turn the pressure washer off, it'll release right off. So this is the nozzle. Yeah, this is the nozzle that came out of the WD-40. Look like that might have fixed my problem, man. Alright, we're gonna try the other nozzle. The adjustable one that I soaked in the WD-40. show that soaking your nozzles in WD-40, man, can help with the pulsating problem. That isn't the, that isn't the uh, solution in every case, but in my case, that was the solution, man. Ain't losing no pressure. Hopefully that's all it was and it'll stay that way. And if not, now on, I'll just soak it in a little WD-40. Hey, man, shave it, boy, man. We'll be back. I'm gonna put the side-by-side -side over here. Make sure it's lined up with everything. And I'm gonna wrap everything up, man. Keep it locked, all right? What? You put 
that thing on zero. I'm gonna bust something, boy. It's taking all the dirt up out of this country. Oh, yeah, this zero series. That's why you don't use that on nothing delicate, man. On your paint, your wheels, nothing like that. It's easy at all, man. But uh, like I said, we'll be back. All right. Yeah, man, y'all see it. Y'all see it, man. That's how it started. That's how it started, man. I was cutting outside my mama house, sitting on the bricks. Huh? I fell. You fell off the bike? Yeah. You hurt yourself? Yeah. Oh, Lord. I'll be scratching all little knees up now. Yeah, I can bleed a little bit. Yeah. It will bleed. You okay? Yeah. Let me take you to the ER. <laughs> Okay. I fit in front of three families. Oh, man. <laughs> huh? I fit in front of three families. For real? Oh, man. Two of them walked to the door and one was like in front of the house. Lord, that's okay. Get up. This is oh. what I did. I yeah. took off. Yeah, <laughs> get, get up. Get up and, and, and dust yourself off and do it again. Don't worry I'm about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, you scoot old chop, man, with the, with the wheels in the back. Y'all see it, man. This how it started for real, Scoop. Couldn't outside Grandma Clemmer's house. Right outside her door. Stench cord running in the house. <laughs> Where's my little sit-up? Y'all see it, man. I'm just, just showing y'all, man. It's part of family time. Me and, me and my son sitting here bonding. We talking about starting him a business, man. Being an entrepreneur. He'll be 20 next month. And I'm trying to get him a business off the ground, man. We're gonna keep it under wraps. We ain't gonna talk about what it is right now. But once we once we jump off, just know. We're gonna let it be known, man. Could have did it for myself, but you know, I'd rather see my son start a business. Yep, 787 boy. Young scooter the shooter. Alright. Show y'all. Old Faithful, man. Told y'all she was clean, boy. Told y'all I got it right. I got to put my tag on, too. It was out in March. Hold on one second. Yeah, man. Y'all see it looking like new money. Looking like new money. And my boy, Big Mike. Y'all, hold on. I'll be right back. Hey. I'm a seven, a seven, a seven. I'm